where uh, we both lose. <laughs> Not going well. What do you guys think, baby? Think it alright? <laughs> don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Why it's not working? Get out. Get out. <laughs> That's the fucking drug dealer kid. <laughs> school, so I really hope you can, <laughs> then you'll realize I gained the freshman 15 every single <laughs> year. Every year. And here's the thing, like, being the big fat idiot in college, it's kind of fun. Like, it's fun to be that. Like, everyone wants you to come to their party because they know you're going to eat something weird. <laughs> and they see you coming and they're like, he's here! Get him with pickles! <laughs> Do 15 pickles! And you eat it and everyone's like, pickles, dude, pickles. You know, it's fun, it's fun. And you graduate and then you're just the sweaty one at work with the fan on his desk. <laughs> and it's not fun anymore. And that shit sneaks up on you too. You don't just wake up fat one day. You don't just like wake up and be like, where's my dick? No! <laughs> There's like these little things I noticed as I was getting fat. Like the first thing, the, the, re the real first red flag is I noticed I could no longer breathe while I was tying my shoe. <laughs> just, just down there tying my shoe one day, I was like, hey, wait a minute. Why am I dizzy? <laughs> and then I would get these little fat person only injuries. <laughs> but the worst one I ever got was. I cut the webbing between my fingers right here because I was digging too low in a peanut butter jar. Digging down there, and I was like, I can get that peanut butter. And I was like, oh shit! Oh, oh god, it's bleeding! Oh, oh. Another thing you'll notice if you're fat is if you go to Home Depot, people just ask you where stuff is. <laughs> it's, an absolute, it's an absolute mystery. I don't know why. But if you're ever wondering if you're a fat slob, go see if someone asks at Home Depot, ask you where the hammers are. <laughs> the real sad one, though, was like, uh, when when I was able to get laid, I didn't want to do any work. I never wanted to be on top, because that's hard. And like every time you're hooking up, it always starts the same way. You're laying on your side, and you're kissing on your mouths. And this hand's on an adventure, you know? Oh, let's see what's over here. Oh, whoa, 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 and then, and this hand just slowly dying. <laughs> Watching your veins pop out, and your fingers up like a mortis curl. Nails are turning black. And then right before your arm dies forever, like some Arctic explorer. 
that's when someone's got to get on time, right? And so she's pulling you, and you're like, no, 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 I just want to go one way. And then maybe she pulls you real hard, and that's when your fat tooth brain kicks in, you just got to go, whoop, hey. <laughs> And when I had to get on top, it was so sad because I had like two minutes of normal, right? And I was like, yeah, this is fine. I can do this. This is good. This is good. Left arm's starting to get a little tired, so maybe let's go down on one elbow. Yeah. On the side. That's good. All right, he's tired. Two elbows. And eventually, I'd just be laying on top of some poor girl, and her head would be just buried in like sweaty cleavage right here. Right? 